Second time Charlotte's had it inside the Marshall 40. Reynolds rolling to his right. Now cuts it back. That ball is out. And Marshall says they have it. That's Devontae Beckett. Who may have knocked that ball out. We still haven't seen a signal. There it is. It's Marshall football. You see Kobe Cope, Cumberlander there chasing Chris Reynolds. Ooh. We're going to have to see this a few more times yeah, here. Beckett was the one that stripped it and fell on it. Watch Beckett come in here, number four. Knee. Ooh, that looks like that ball's out. That ball's out. What a heads up play by Tavante Beckett. He realized he had kind of overrun Chris Reynolds. You see him right there. And he just grabs the tip of the football and gets enough of it to, wow, knock that ball loose as Cumberlander. So Marshall takes over at the 33 yard line and Brendan Knox skipping through for good yardage on first down. Third down and one. Let's see if they go to Knox. Levias in motion. Knox the carry. Knox the first down. And then marched it inside the Charlotte 40 last drive before punting it at the Charlotte 38. Pressure. Green steps up. Taken down as he crosses midfield. It's like Timmy Horn once again on that tackle. You see Charlotte's defense right there. An overload pressure where they had multiple defenders to the offense's right. Part of Charlotte first and ten. This Marshall D has forced a couple of the turnovers already. Benny LeMay, the handoff. Tries to stiff arm, but there's just nowhere to go. Jamari Edwards, first to get him in the backfield. LeMay hasn't had any running room at all so far today. Yeah, watch this. If you're Benny LeMay, what are you supposed to do? They're everywhere, and they're all their shoulders are square. This Marshall front has really been the rock for this team and for this defense all year. Isaiah Green and try to get the ball in the end zone. That one's blocked. Marshall's got a touchdown. A little on the field. one. Recovered for a touchdown for Marshall. Joseph Early scooped it up after Darius Hodge blocked it. Look at this. Watch him fight through the two blockers Why he's getting held and still finds a way to get that left hand on the football. Gigantic. Play. It's tough with these weather conditions. You see, we are there at Charlotte. Looks like we might get a little bit of a break momentarily as this system is moving to the north and east. It's been raining all day. Yesterday was perfect. Reynolds able to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Play clock down to five. First and ten from the 44-yard line. Again, it's LeMay. And nothing doing once more. Maybe two. Amari Cobb met him. The first and ten after Isaiah Green picks up that first down. This Marshall offense hasn't had to do much of anything, and that's going to be a sack. No, it's not. What a play by Green getting it to Knox. Brendan Knox into Charlotte territory. The jump pass from Isaiah Green. They had to be close from whistling that dead. He was in the grasp of Jeff Gemmel. But Green at 6'2", 207, 
just hopped up and made the pass. Yeah, look at Gemmel here. He comes unblocked off the edge. You would think right here the play is almost going to be blown dead, but Isaiah Green has the strength and gets that thing out. And just a gigantic play, not only to pick up an explosive gain. I think you're going to have a sack and you're going to have him backed up way behind the chains. This is going to be a reverse. And a first down for Marshall. As Joey Fields, the redshirt senior from Toms River, New Jersey, with a rare appearance. But you can see he can move. Yeah, Fields was brought in for this little jet sweep. Started out in the boundary and a little bit of a bunch. And look at him. He may not be that big, but he can break tackles and he is explosive. He's phone booth is something that they used to have where you put a quarter in, you make a call for all the youngsters watching and listening. There's a reverse. It's Xavier Gaines still on his feet inside the 20, ridden down by Damon Weldon Jr. Back-to-back back -back reverses here from Marshall. Absolutely, and this is one of the times when Marshall can get into 13 personnel, one back and three tight ends, but they can line up in formations that don't usually, you, defense won't see out of a 13 personnel because they have these tight ends. The first interception thrown from Isaiah Green went off of Devin Miller's hands early in this, early in the first quarter. Justin Rohrwasser knocks in the field goal and Marshall has taken a 10-0 lead. A drive that started at their own one yard line. Rohrwasser again, right down the fairway. Big drive here for Charlotte. Benny LeMay playing in this game, but has only had one decent run so far. That's his seventh carry, but only 14 yards on those seven carries. The Marshall defense has been up to the task. With many turnovers as completions so far. This is a design quarterback run, and he won't come close. Got one, he needed five. And the offensive struggles continue for the 49ers. Check out Devontae Beckett here again. He and Amari Cobb both are very, very athletic downhill linebackers for this team. Beckett just finds a way to kind of sort through the trash and be one of the first in on this tackle. And he continues to play at a very, very high level. And he to start the second half. Will the 49ers. Chris Reynolds under center. Takes the handoff. Under pressure again off the edge. Throws it up for grabs. Incomplete. Tyler Brown was in his grill as soon as he turned around after the fake handoff. They're banking on Tyler Brown at least taking a few steps down at that run fake, but Tyler Brown had quarterback responsibility right there. Unfortunately, it's 50 degrees and pouring down rain. Knox gets the handoff. And picks up a first down. He just keeps chugging away, Chris. Like, it is not fun to have to continue to tackle Brendan Knox over and over again. Second down and 10. They throw it the screen to Armani Levias. And Levias, the big boy, out to the 37 yard line. They haven't gotten the tight ends involved too much in this game. It's a bit surprising, too, especially the, the short and intermediate pass game with the elements out here. Maybe they're going to. It's just sprinkling right now, though, not coming down too hard. Screen it out to Xavier Gaines, who makes a man miss, stays in bounds, and gets it into Charlotte territory. Knox gets the handoff, has a big hole up the middle. To the 31 yard line. Pickup of 18 yards. And the longest run of the day for Marshall.
This is what Brendan Knox does. He'll set everybody up. He'll get guys to turn their back when he thinks you're going to change. You're, you're going to go out and, and break outside of a block. He sees that. He's so quick, and he has the patience and confidence, too, to kind of make people look foolish at times. And now over 100 yards from scrimmage for Knox. It's taken down by Marquise Watts, but not after a pickup of six on first down. Forcing a fourth and three field goal attempt for Marshall. Justin Rohrwasser from 31. And he just snuck it inside the upright. Both of his field goals coming from 31 yards out. And Marshall retakes the lead. He's so good. And when you listen to Brad Lambert talk about what he can do, like he just said he, he gets through things that you would never think he can get through. And like what I mean by that is he, he can fight through the trash. There could be five or six big offense and defensive linemen around him, and he finds a way to squirt through and make a big TFL or, or make a big tackle. It's, it's really amazing. Reynolds acted like he was going to run it. Now throws it. Picked off. Nazi Johnson with his first pick of the season. Looked like he picked that with a brace on his wrist. Yeah, that's design right there to where the quarterback's supposed to sell the run. You saw him tuck the ball down like he was going to run and then pull it up and let it fly. But Nazi Johnson was all over it. He saw Benny LeMay streaking down the sideline and was not fooled by Chris Reynolds in the run action. Comes Last four drives, they've been into Marshall territory. May gets the handoff and gets taken down immediately. There was Tyler Brown again. Furman Silva was there. The and bowl eligibility for the first time in program history. A program that got its start in 2013. Brendan Knox for seven, maybe eight yards. And with their pullers and everything, and with an athletic quarterback that likes to, to break contain, you got to be basic to play fundamental football. This time they stop the quarterback keeper. Reynolds on the quarterback keeper. Darius Hodge showing a lot of emotion, Channing Hames. 7.07 to go. Tough to see the clock because of these conditions, the rain wreaking havoc on everybody. Marshall with a good play on first down to start this drive. And it's going to be Brendan Knox who has won the player of the game award. Marshall fans, we know that it's about Four to one, Marshall fans to Charlotte fans watching this game, so we certainly understand. And Marshall's not out of it yet, but they need a stop. 3.17 to go, second down and seven. Benny LeMay gets the handoff and taken down immediately. It's a loss of one. With a new set of downs. A snap with 2.30 to go. Reynolds spinning. And can't get away from Nazi Johnson. Looked like it was going to come crashing down. They responded, came back to win that game on the road, and now a chance to clinch pole eligibility as Obi Obiallo finally makes his first grab of the game.